Yeah, I, I think Adam's there was channels. a there was a question from BL. Uh, where do I cross over? I cross them over at a hundred <clears throat> because they're standard bookshelf speakers. So, I mean, if you were to you know hang your La Scala's <laughs> up there, you or if you hang, hang some yeah. really badass speakers up there. Up. You probably, Actually, the uh, Scalas, they don't go down very low. They oh, probably yeah. go about as low as these uh, SVS Prime Elevation. <laughs> right? they go That's what about, I'm talking about. about Those 70. are the ones I have. Yeah. How, how 70? Yeah, these are about, about 80, actually. Yeah, yeah so, uh, around, so I'm probably going around, around there. there. I had them so at 120 that, uh, before, okay. and then I and I bumped them down to... Because um, every time I run Odyssey, Odyssey's putting them at 80. Yeah. So hmm. I was just like, eh, let's lift it up a little bit. Since they cross over around eighty as well. So. Hey, Aaron, how many uh, height speakers you got? Atmos set up at your nope. pad or what? No, no, man, I'm lazy. I stopped you, at five point two or whatever it is. Yeah, I, uh, uh, my receiver don't even think. Yeah, my receiver doesn't even have Atmos in it. Doesn't any, support Atmos. Any urge for Atmos? No, 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 not really. No, because honestly, I just so much else is going on with trying to measure and test speakers that I just don't have the time. We hardly even use the the theater room upstairs much, other than. If, you know, my kid wants to watch something different than what we're watching or, you know, the a big the big game, because you can't say, you know, can't say what the big game is actually called. Right. Otherwise, we have to pay the NFL money. Oh, is that right? Yes. I ain't worried about them. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. So, well, actually, I think that is true. I'm just kidding about saying it here. Um, no, like Super Bowl, college game, stuff like that. We'll watch. But honestly, man, I thought about redoing because I've got that false wall. And I thought about redoing that room and I wired it up for height speakers and all sorts of crap, but it's just, you know, I don't want to spend the money on that. I've got other things I'd rather play with right now. Yeah. My just, dream is to make enough money one day to where I can build a detached garage and I can put the clipple in there. So it's not limited mm. by height or anything. And then in the front of it, I can have like a whole, you know, whole setup stage. Setup. Yeah. 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 That'd, That'd be, be sweet. Sick. Yeah. It's just interesting because a lot of the stuff that you do and a lot of stuff we talk about still applies to Atmos, right? Oh, yeah. So I mean, where I position lot. these, you know, should I be above the tweeter? Is that a good spot? Right. Um, you know, I was doing some of these measurements and I'm like, oh, it's not good. You don't want to be up there. You want to be below it because right. it has this weird dip. So all that stuff still applies I mean, just with more speakers. Applies. I mean, ideally, I would expect that you would want a speaker that plays the desired range as neutral as possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's ultimately yeah. what you're trying to get. I, um, BL Swagger said he had to cross his uh, high channels over at 130. So, hmm. yeah. You know. I, I just wonder, like, Odyssey, you know, um, and when it recommends, I guess I should have asked that, that dude that question because I just now thought of it. You know, you mentioned it recommended 80, so you bumped it up to 100. And I'm like, how does it determine? You know, is it based on the natural fall off? Or does it have some kind of like THD? you know pick up where it says oh, i mean it, no. i would imagine it's you know it's sending out the white noise or pink noise right, right. and then it's seeing where what it rolls off and, and, then, and, then, and then tries to give it a what you know i, I know it I actually know it's oh. um it's the in room roll off right in the listening yeah. position so it's not it's not trying to guess what the anechoic it's not not trying to guess anything it's just if it's if it can play 50 hertz at yeah. this level all right at minus three decibels or i don't know if it's three or six for them but um then it assumes that it can play that note then it can play it cleanly mm -hmm. I, yeah, I don't know if they're doing that i don't know if they're you, taking well, you, into account distortion you know why that's why i'm asking is because yeah. i mean naturally if there's going to be room gain then it's going to help clean up you know it's going to give you a little bit more boom i guess in the lower frequencies mm -hmm. and so you're not going to have any distort oil you're not going to have increased distortion from from the room itself other than just linear like frequency response distortion but non-linear distortion like second order harmonics and stuff like that you're not going to have any of that from the room from the room gain yeah i don't know if they're taking that into account so yeah, they're i think probably it, not. if if it can hear it then yeah. that's good enough i think yeah, that's I'll, how it's kind of what you're saying that makes sense i've just been curious you know how they determine that so mm -hmm. but that makes sense I think that's all they can really do, right? Yeah, that that is, and it makes sense. I, gotta, could I they get, could they get a harmonic distortion do, doing like some sweeps, multiple yeah. sweeps? They could in the listening position be, though. Would, would that be? The, yeah, it would not be anechoic. It would be in the listening position, right? Would those results be somewhat useful though? If you're that um, far away from a speaker, I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, I don't. It's it's hard to say, I guess. But the but the thing is, they're not doing it over different volumes, are they? Because I don't. No, no, it's a reference level. Yeah, because if you just pick one level, that doesn't tell you a lot. Other than yeah, this is too high. 
you know, but if it's low and then you bump it up 3 dB and all of a sudden you're driving into some issues. Yeah. But they're not doing that because they're not doing different volumes. But yeah, no compression testing, nothing like that. Nothing it's just, yeah. they just say what the response is in the room and they're saying, all right, this will work. And they just go with it. Sounds like something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. I was just curious. I mean, nothing else does anything like that. I was just curious. Yeah. Yeah.